Hi, this is Larry Jordan, the host of the Digital Production Buzz. The following interview was recorded live on the exhibit floor at the 2019 NAB Show in Las Vegas. For all of our NAB interviews, visit digitalproductionbuzz.com. And now a name that doesn't really need an introduction if you've been paying attention to our industry at all. Jeffrey Stansfield is the CEO and founder of Advantage Video Systems and seems to be the most tuned in person I know that's covering the show. Jeffrey, thanks. You are dressed to the nines, man. I am, Larry. I got got this friend of mine in Italy who I did a TV station for, and he sends me these wonderful Italian suits. My goodness, can you turn the glitter down? Does that thing plug in at night? (laughs) Gracious. How you been? I've been really good. Business has been uh, phenomenal. We've been growing, uh, building a lot of video podcasting studios and growing in that aspect. And then, you know, we've been doing a lot in asset management archiving stuff like that so asset management using what software well we just did a big in, we just did a big install uh, with CBS interactive with uh, cat TV and uh, Zen data and a couple other sources some storage from promise storage and so we developed that whole thing for them we've been doing a lot with some NAS the LumaForge has been a, been a good seller for us and it's doing some work on that so very cool what have you seen at the show that you like you know, there's so much to see. You know, uh, the buzzes, you know, 8K is a big buzz at the show. 8K Oops, is 8. just stupid, but don't <laughs> quote me on that. No, I know. If you, if, if you talk to Michael Cioni, Bill, you know, 8K is the most is, is where it has to be at. I, I agree with you. You know, the human eye can't really see more than that. You know, in archiving for 8K is, has, a, has an option. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm with you. I, you know, I'm the human eye cannot see more than 4K. So, it's, you know, that's where I'm at. Um, um, besides 8K, which clearly we've been talking about a number of interviews yeah. in the show, what else caught your attention? Well, and you I know, know it's the first day, but what's... Your, la- your last guest with the 360, there's a lot of 360 stuff that's being done uh, at the show. We've been seeing a lot of that announcements. There's also a lot for live streaming. A lot, you know, Live streaming is, is, has played up this year over last year. There was a lot last year. But, you know, with, with Akamai, Akamai Solutions right next to you here and some of the new stuff that Data Video is doing, some of the stuff that, that Black Magic is doing, some of the new, the new technologies, uh, Broadcast Pix is, is, a, has a, is a remarkable company that we've been working with. We just put a big in, uh, install at uh, Dominguez Hills College with the Broadcast Pix people, and their stuff is phenomenal. Very low cost price with high performance. So it's been one of, uh, you know, so live streaming is, I mean, almost every booth has some play in the live streaming environment. That's pretty amazing when you think about how quickly that's taken off. It is. And there's so much, it, it's so easy to get it in into that. And it's so, there's so much money to be made in, if you do it right and brand yourself and get out, of, get out of YouTube. You know, I tell people my big thing is get out of YouTube because when you have a YouTube channel, you work for YouTube. That's why they call it a YouTube channel. You know, so, you know, develop your own channel, develop your own brand. And I'm actually working on a talk with uh, with Philip Hodgetts on how to brand yourself, how to how to have media people, how to brand themselves, because I think that's one of the things that editors and cinematographers, they know how to do work the cameras and work the editorial, but they don't know how to brand themselves. And and that's one thing we're working on together. I think that's a very smart thing, because as, as we continue to shift into a gig economy, the ability to make sure people understand who you are and what makes you different from the competition is critical. Absolutely. I mean, you look, look back to, you know, the old Apple Think Different photos and how Steve Jobs took those major big brands like, you know, like, um, you know, Lon, John Lennon and Albert Einstein and all these great people that people identify with and then pop the Apple logo on so that people identified now if, with, with their heroes with Apple. And that kind of thing, how you brand yourself is a very important well, um, I don't mean to, to, to short-circuit you. Has Advantage announced anything at the show that we need to pay attention to, aside from the fact that you're continuing to grow? Well, you know, we're, we're doing a lot of things. We've also started a new thing. Where we're, we're actually starting our own broadcast channel. We have a thing called iLaunch TV. We are uh, on Apple TV, on Roku, Amazon Fire Stick. We're also on DirecTV, Comcast, and Dish Network. We're on. We're in 30 cities, broadcasting in local te- televisions. We're on cruise ships. We're in hotel, like almost 300 hotels now. We're in 160 countries on CDN networks. So we're a huge, major brand. 
helping people broadcast out and create their own shows or own channels and, and really help creating that. So that's something we're doing. I mean, my integration business, we're like one, becoming one of the leaders in the integration business. And I think it's because I'm, you know, not to toot my own horn, tuning my own horn, um, <laughs> but, you know, I, because I'm one of the industry leaders, I sit on, I sit on the, I was a board, you know, I've been a board member of SIMPTE and, H, and HPA and other organizations, uh, AES, and also being, you know, the standards boards and being involved in all that kind of stuff and being a leader in the industry helps push me to become a leader in, in my business. Which I think is important because not only have you developed a corporate brand, but you've also developed a personal brand. And people know that Jeff Stansfield stands for something, which is important. Absolutely. So what else should we pay attention to at the show as people are walking around and, and seeing NAB? It's, it's, it's getting bigger and bigger every year. It is. I mean, the, the amount of stuff that's being done with the render farms, with NVIDIA and all AMD and some of the stuff that they're doing, Sonnet right in front of us has an incredible product, uh, platform they're doing. Magma as well has these ex- expansion chassis that we've been doing. We've been doing a lot of render farms. We built, we built uh, 23 render farms in 1RU chassis using the super micro uh, boxes and putting, you know, f- four or five uh, high-end uh, uh, render render farm cards in these things and creating these huge, big, giant render farms. And so we've been seeing that going. A lot of VFX houses opening up and wanting to create their own little in-house. And, you know, the difference between rendering in the cloud opposed to rendering in-house, it's actually rendering in-house is actually more powerful and faster than doing it in cloud because you're not sending your data anywhere, you know. So it's... it's an, it, We've seen a lot of people wanting to build those in-house, and that's the, also the big the big battle here is cloud versus in-house. And edit, you know, there's editorial like Bebop and Azure and all these different companies, editorial in the cloud, and what that does and 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 how that plays out, opposed to still editing in you know in-house and having an editing bay in you know at your facility, having storage at your facility, opposed to in cloud. And that's an argument that's going to continue on as it grows. Right now, it's sti- I think it's still in its infancy. As it grows and the Internet grows, we have major problems with our infrastructure as far as the bandwidth of Internet in the United States. So I don't see it being a big play right now. I think there's a, a, a case place for this, and in some companies can be better. But in a lot of places, I think it, the industry still needs a lot of growth in order for that to really be a a positive play, you know, not, you know, saying that I make my money by putting edit bays in facilities, but, you know, there are, there are definitely reasons for going into the cloud, but I think that's also another big argument that's being made all around the show is, should I go the cloud or should I go, go in-house? And there's also the bridge, which is the private cloud. Right. Which is cloud technology, but more under your control, which is also something that we've been hearing about today. Yeah. I mean, cloud technology, you know, is out there and, cloud, and, and per, uh, small clouds and big clouds and, you know, these different structures are, are, are important. The difference is if you're paying in cloud, you're paying a, a lot of money, like you're renting a house, and you, at the end of the day, you don't have anything for it. If you're in-house... Yeah, it's, you know, it's in yours, so you pay once. Jeff, for people who want to keep track of what you guys are doing, where can they go on the web? So you can go to AdvantageVideoSystems.com for that. If you're at the show and you want to find out all the things of the show, go to at NABExposition.com for that. But definitely go to AdvantageVideoSystems.com for all everything we do. That's all one word, Advantage Video Systems. And Jeff Stansfield is the CEO and founder. Jeff, have yourself a great show, and thank you so much. Thanks, Larry.